all we are doing is learning from nature. We, as humans, are, we adapt and we take things from our environment to make our clothing, to make things that we use to live. And that's what we're doing here with aeroponics. We're taking natural materials or natural seeds, they're organic. We're growing them in an organic environment. We're not replacing mother nature and we're actually cleaning up the environment with this technology. What happens in an aeroponic system is that you deliver a hydroitomized mist to a stem or root section of a plant and this causes the plant to develop its root system very readily. Uh, 1995, we were approached by NASA to develop the liquid beyond and we flew this to the Mir Space Station to see how this product could be used to reduce the reliance on pesticides in space and Earth. And what we did here is put an azuki bean inside this rock wall and we put the Beyond product in here in water. And then the astronauts activated the experiment, it was in space for 21 days and brought it back. And then Dr. Linden then was able to analyze how much growth we increased and what kind of uh, disease response we achieved by the plant. What we found was that the more of the Beyond that we had there, the level of the enzyme beta-1,3 glucanase increased. That enzyme activity has been related to seed germination and some of the disease control responses that the plant exhibits. Enzymes are the way that the plant fights uh, disease and uh, stress, so it's like an immune booster for plants. One of the reasons that I kept focusing on aeroponics is because the Beyond product is such an important product and plays an important role in what we're doing here, but to get people to understand the benefits of a new class of, of materials. Beyond and Ye are not fertilizers, it's not a pesticide, it's a whole new class of biocontrols known as an elicitor. Bringing this product to agriculture around the world is going to be so important, not only because it increases the yields, but because it reduces the amount of pesticides that are necessary. Our plants uh, are seed to market in about 10 to 15 days, depending on the plant. When we're ready to harvest, we just take this thing, just like this, and take it outside to the harvest area. And with scissors, clip the product off. The uh, restaurants that we sell to, the texture, the color, and the taste is a very big part of what they're buying. Like this plant, these are red vein sorrel, and the red in that is what they like. That green with the red, it's a beautiful leaf and it ends up being something they can use artistically on the plate. And again, it's a garnish. We're turning this crop every 10 days off of this tray here. That would be very hard to achieve organically using soil in terms of accentuating different ways of growing the crop in urban areas. It will have an impact.